Accelerated Mobile Pages. It's an open source initiative led by Google to improve the performance of web pages on mobile devices. The goal of AMP is to make pages load quickly and smoothly, even on slow or unreliable internet connections. AMP achieves this by using a stripped down version of HTML and a limited set of JavaScript. This simplified code is designed to load quickly and efficiently, without any unnecessary extras that could slow down the page. Additionally, AMP pages are cached on Google servers, which can further improve load times. While AMP was originally designed for news articles, it can now be used for any type of content on the web. In addition to improving load times, AMP can also benefit websites by increasing visibility in search results. Google has indicated that AMP pages may receive preferential treatment in search rankings, especially for mobile users. However, there are some potential downsides to using AMP. One concern is that AMP pages may reduce revenue opportunities for website owners, as they may not support all types of ads or tracking scripts. Additionally, some critics have argued that AMP creates a walled garden of content that is controlled by Google, rather than being accessible to anyone on the web. Overall, AMP is a technology that can be useful for improving the mobile web experience, but it's not without its trade-offs. As with any web technology, it's important to carefully consider the pros and cons before implementing it on your site. 1. Create an AMP version of your page. To create an AMP version of your page, you need to use a limited subset of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. This subset is designed to be lightweight and fast loading, with no unnecessary elements or scripts that could slow down the page. 2. Add the AMP Runtime The AMP Runtime is a JavaScript library that is added to your AMP page. It's responsible for loading and rendering the page quickly and efficiently. 3. Pre-render the page before a user clicks on an AMP link, Google caches a pre-rendered version of the page on their servers. This pre-rendered version includes all of the necessary HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, so that the page can load quickly when the user clicks on it. 4. Serve the pre-rendered page. When a user clicks on an AMP link, Google serves the pre-rendered version of the page from their servers. This can significantly reduce the time it takes for the page to load, as the user doesn't have to wait for the page to be downloaded and rendered on their device. 5. Apply any necessary changes. Once the pre-rendered page has loaded, any necessary changes can be made to the page. For example, if the page includes user-generated content, such as comments or reviews, these can be loaded asynchronously after the main content of the page has loaded. By using this combination of stripped-down HTML, pre-rendering, and caching, AMP is able to provide a fast and streamlined experience for users on mobile devices. Additionally, because AMP pages are designed to be lightweight and efficient, they can help reduce the amount of data that users need to download, which can be especially helpful for users with slow or limited internet connections. When a user enters a news-related query into Google, the search engine may display a carousel of AMP pages at the top of the search results page. The carousel typically includes a thumbnail image, headline, and publisher information for each AMP page. By using a carousel format Google is able to provide users with a quick and visually appealing way to browse through news content. This can help to improve user engagement and drive more traffic to news websites. For news publishers, having their AMP pages displayed in the Google AMP carousel can be a great way to increase visibility and attract more readers to their content. By ensuring that their AMP pages are optimized for search and meet Google's AMP guidelines, Publishers can increase their chances of being featured in the carousel and reaching a wider audience.